Hey guys, so we're back with the uh, final part here in this uh, Arduino uh, text message remote start. And um, I put everything in a Tupperware box, made it nice and tidy. So we have the Arduino here, so this is the brain. Then we have the uh, relays down here that are going to control the truck. Um, then we have the GSM module here which sends, uh, receives the message. And we have a power distribution board which just ties all the positive wires together and negative wires together. Then what I did was I had, I have a whole bunch of Cat5 um, from where I used to work. They just gave it to me, all the scraps and stuff like that so I could use it in projects. And so I have this running down into this huge coil just in case I wanted to relocate it. Didn't really know how long it needed to be. And that gets... Um, put into the uh, cigarette lighter there. And that is always on, so it works out great. Um, and then here we have another Cat5 wire. This wire is carrying um, all three ignitions, the starter, and parking lights. So we have uh, the ignition, uh, no, yeah. Ignition, starter, parking lights here. And then that goes through the center console, down there, under the seat, then it goes into the carpet, um, and then it comes over this way, runs under this, and gets put right here. And then it's spliced into the parking lights, which is around uh, the relay in there. And then the other wire is the ignition that goes up, and right there. So. What I, since I also wired in the parking lights, if I give a little demonstration here. So I'm going to hit start. And we're going to look at the parking lights here. You can see them flashing. Now it's on. Ignition's on. And it started. So, now you can see some more lights on. We have uh, the parking light. LED and the ignition LED. That's just showing which relay is on, but there you go. So by opening my center console, it just sits right in there. It takes up the whole thing, but I mean, um, I don't really use it that much. So, because there's all this storage down here, but uh, that's another story. Yeah, so that runs for nine minutes. The truck will run for nine minutes and the parking lights stay on. Um, I can also turn my turn the parking light switch on and they get brighter it's because I'm using a uh, such a small wire that it's not letting enough current go through so I'm gonna have to run another cat 5 specifically for that so I don't start a fire underneath this uh, rug here but uh, it only runs for nine minutes it doesn't get that hot so I'm gonna leave it for probably the weekend and then do it so but yeah then another feature I added um, so I can, oh, burnout. So I can type in, um, stop engine. And what it's going to do is it's going to, um, uh, flash the parking lights again. There it goes. And that's going to shut off the truck. There you go. So, um, there's that and then there's uh, after the nine minutes it goes into sleep mode which would um, turn off the parking lights and um, turn off the ignition but since you have your key in the ignition then um, since it's in parallel with it it's not going to turn it off it's the trucks gonna run regardless so yeah to show you there's no there's no key there which is awesome I feel like you guys are going to say I'm a liar, so I'm just going to do it again, because why not? Okay, so I sent the message, no key in the ignition, there go the, uh, the lights there, all the dash lights, there you go, start it up, there we go. Well, yeah, anyway guys, please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed, share the video around, uh, a lot of people I've seen... Uh, like this, I'm actually sharing my code 
So if you want to create something like this, you can at least look at my code and, and copy it if you want. As long as you uh, cite me, but who cares about that, whatever. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.